Today on Herman Hits the Road, Zoe go. gets amorous. Lie back Zoe, they call her. <laughs> Ads has too much ice cream. And Zoe tells Ads off again. I'm ready to go and you're faffing about. Right, I've been told. So we are continuing our tour of the Jurassic Coast and we've uh, now progressed into Devon uh, right between uh, Sidmouth and Holliton we're in Putts Corner camping no caravan and motorhome club site and uh, yeah we're um, today we're gonna go cycling. and go on our little bikes cycling into Sidmouth and into Bear probably Beer, 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 beer. beer. Uh, and then, uh, but before all that, we're going to take you on a tour around the campsite to see what it's like. So there's Herman, and uh, the site is quite nice, very busy here, even though it is uh, no longer a bank holiday weekend, it is still very busy. So here are the gents, and uh, it is the ring, the band system that they're using. Oh, this water's warm. And you basically put it on the door. Hand is uh, containing bleach now. You've got uh, sinks there. And you've got a showers. Oh. Your rhinos and the, the toilets. Yeah, so there's a few cubicles closed. Um, but otherwise, anyone can use them. And here we have the laundry room. And just there is a dishwashing room. Uh, so this is reception just there. It's closed right now, but when it's open, you can actually go in. They have screens at the desk. And of course, you've got to wear your mask. Uh, the information room is actually open. Um, so you can go in and uh, take a look at the bus timetables and walks and cycle routes in there. And right at the top of the campsite is this woodland walk which is literally a three minute walk away from the pub or two minutes if you're desperate. There you go, the hare and hound. We went in there yesterday, gorgeous uh, beers and the food looked great as well. Huge uh, beer garden at the back too. So my only issue with the campsite is it's right close to a fast and busy road. Um, however, I'm probably comparing it with the last one we went to. Uh, Smedmore, which was in the middle of nowhere, you didn't hear any road noise. But uh, yeah, nothing really, just my only gripe with it really. There's nothing to worry about. Well, we have arrived in Sidmouth, a beautiful day here, very busy uh, on the beach and in the shops and restaurants. Um, you can see back over here, beautiful coastline. And if I spin the camera around, more beautiful coastline. I've been a bit lazy. Uh, it's like half past two and uh, I haven't been doing any filming. So apologies for that. But, um, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be uh, heading out now. We're thinking about going to beer. That's spelt the same way as our favorite uh, tipple and uh, yeah it's, it's about an hour away on a bike but we're not 100% sure that's actually gonna what we're gonna be doing so anyway let's see where we're going next not five minutes from where we just were maybe ten minutes I've arrived I've arrived at Salcombe Hill just climbed it I think at breath, even with electric, and uh, Zoe is not to be seen. Yeah, I might have to go and rescue her, but uh, we might not actually be going to beer at this point. At this, uh, if this, uh, whatever, I can't try to say something now. <laughs> Take two. I don't think we'll make beer at this rate. That's what I was trying to say. Keep pedaling. That's it. But you've made it to the top of Salcombe Hill. Keep going. 
It's on the highest. Who wanted to come this way? <laughs> right, let's get off the road. Let's get off call. the road before I kill myself. <laughs> right at the top of Sarkham Hill is the Norman Lockie Observatory. Apparently it's closed right now, but, uh, oh, even though there's people there. But uh, yeah, we visited this years ago and uh, wonderful place actually. Had all the telescopes out and you can uh, go into the observatories here. There's got three of them, just one there, one there, one there. We made it. Uh, we have now arrived at Beer. How did you think that was? It was a bit up and down, mainly down, but when we went up, oh my goodness. You survived though, you're still here. Have you seen that hill? We've got to go back up. Yes. <laughs> Steep hills around here. You might have to go here. and get home and then give me a lift back. Well, motorhomes, I wouldn't bring a motorhome. Maybe a camper, but not a motorhome. No, because it was only one car. A single track, well the road we went on. I was nearly in a bush at one point. Yeah. Uh, but it is very lovely here. Too hot. <laughs> not good at hot. I'm not good at hot. Yeah, plenty of boats around here. Very nice scenery here. These cliffs with the uh, whatever's growing on them. We've got a bar over there, right, a beach a bar. And yeah. over here is more the uh, the scenery and plenty of boats and people sitting on the um, well, let's not call it sand. Very large pebbles. pebbles. <laughs> So uh, I think it's time we had a beer and oh, an no. ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> well, I've got my ice cream. So she's got a beer. Well, water. On camera. Do you want some? <laughs> Rum and raisin and honeycomb. Three quid. Mm, not bad, is it? So I think what it is is that because it's so hilly <clears throat> and we're going up and down like this, when we see a lovely spot, I don't want to stop. Do you? <laughs> don't want to stop to take video. So uh, that's the problem, and that's why I've not got much video of us getting here. But uh, was it Branscombe? Yes. That, oh, that was amazingly beautiful. That was with the little cottages and the been valley. I before because there was like a forge place where the um, blacksmiths and things. I'm sure we've been there. But so yeah, that's the uh, reasoning for not so many shots at the moment. Hopefully, on the way back should be di a bit different. What going uphill? <laughs> it is uphill all the way, except for li one little flat bit. Oh God. Yeah. So here is a better view of Beer Beach. It's quite crowded with all the boats, but it isn't really. It's a bit windy up here though. It is now time to head back to Herman in the campsite. Hopefully we'll make it with all those hills. What do you think? <laughs> She's not looking forward to it. <laughs> but we've got electric bikes, should be alright. I don't know if you can see it, but that says Mare Lane there. And I think earlier I said I wouldn't like to bring a motorhome or camper van here. I've just seen that. Beerhead, HEV, cam caravans and campers parking in that direction. Mare Lane, there you go. So you see, we're always full of information on this channel. It's not just us dilly-dallying along the way, you know. So we've managed to get ourselves back to the campsite from uh, cycling from beer and uh, we're going to now tuck into some uh, salmon noodle stir fry kind of thing. But uh, we did uh, 26 miles on our bikes today and we are, well I don't pooped. know, a bit tight. <laughs> pooped is a, probably a good word, yeah. yeah. I'm so A um, bit burnt, Yes. as per normal. Now the thing is, tomorrow, forecast is thunder. Yes. Brilliant. Our luck has now run out, I think. Well, it depends on what happens tomorrow, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow and uh, see what happens then. Morning, well, no, it's not actually morning. Uh, we've had the morning. Today is a bit, a bit, you know, a bit off been raining most of the day 
This is the first dry spell since this morning. Now, uh, some strange news. Sad news. Sad news. This happened this morning. Yes, that's right. This chair decided to rip on me. Uh, now, we thought this chair was going to go first because of the stitching up here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this stitching. So, uh, yeah, both chairs, well, you can sit in this one, you can't sit in this one. So what I've decided to do is go and buy some new ones. We ended up going to Sidmouth and we bought these chairs. These are Highlander chairs. Now, they're a lot more comfy, a lot more sturdy yeah, than those yeah, ones. Yeah. There's two things about these. First of all, you've got the setting. So this is in the upright position. Yeah. And now, if you like to model the, uh, the other position by sitting in that chair, two. by sitting in that chair. <laughs> this is number three. There you wow. go. Lie back Zoe, they call her. No, that's not. <laughs> It does sound a bit crude, doesn't it? But the really cool thing about these as well is that no cup holders. Oh, bad idea. No, look. <laughs> little little, that's, that's little cup holder there. Now, what really swung it for me is the reclining bit, but I mean, the cup holder is an extra. Uh, with, I mean, in these ones, you can't really carry, uh, you know, a tinny maybe, nothing else. A bottle will just flop over. But uh, I think that's a good buy. Not a bargain, mind. Yeah, 50 right. quid each. But yes, yeah, have a check. I mean, they're very firm, aren't they? Very firm. So uh, we're very tired today. After all that cycling, we're feeling a bit jaded, aren't we? No. Look, the sun's coming out. I might need my sunglasses. Yeah. So we've not done much other than buy chairs this morning. Well, it was pouring with rain, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was so very wet. Yeah. Sun's come out again and it's very warm. It is now the 3rd of June and uh, the most observant ob uh, amongst you will have noticed we've moved on. We are now in uh, Stover Caravan Club site in Stover, which is in Devon, south of Devon, near to Bovey Tracy. And that means we're no longer near the Jurassic Coast. But it doesn't matter, this is a lovely spot. We were very close to the road, but you can't hear it, not so much as the other one we just went, we were in. Um, thing is about this site, this has no facilities, but I'll show you what there is. So this is all there is. You've got the drinking water, wastewater, and the emptying cassettes there. And of course you've got the bins and the recycling. So that's like most other caravan and motorhome club sites. So no big difference. Okay, so this is our pitch, of course, but uh, the interesting thing is here, look at this, look. Look at the size of that mast there, the aerial. What are they picking up in that caravan? <laughs> Aliens. So here we have reception and a uh, bit of a different setup than we're used to. You gotta stop at the line when you check in and phone them. Um, you can't actually enter the uh, reception area. And the thing that I noticed straight away when we came in, there's no barrier. First time I've seen it, I think, on the caravan and motorhome club site. Well, right next door to the campsite is Stover Country Park with this lovely lake in very clear water. Um, very idyllic and peaceful, I think. Don't you think? Idyllic. Idyllic. Or... Idyllic. All right, I pronounce things ringly, I mean wrongly. So? Can you pronounce the place right? Stover. <laughs> there probably isn't another way to say it. She is uh, <laughs> taking the mick out of me, I think. Well, oh, there's a, a bug on your...
Mandarin duck. Look how colourful it is. I scared it off though. What are you laughing at? There's a mandarin duck again. Let's come back. Good morning, folks. Uh, the sun is out. The bikes are out. And so are my chalky white legs. That can only mean one thing. That we're going to go and do a walk. Of course, we're taking the bikes. We're going to go to. We're going to ride to Becky Falls. And uh, we are booked a ticket. You need to book a ticket. We paid for them. We just need to get there, which is about an hour away. Uh, along the way, though, we might we might just bump into High Tall. And talking of uh, planning, tomorrow we plan tomorrow as well. So tomorrow, Saturday, yeah, Saturday tomorrow, uh, we're going to go to Drogo Castle. Of course, all these places you've got to book tickets. So you can't just turn up on the day, um, and they're selling out pretty fast. So we booked uh, Drogo Castle, uh, but uh, that will be a drive. Right, let's get on these bikes yeah, and let's get uh, your shoes on and let's get going. <laughs> being told off. I'm ready to go, and you're faffing about. Right, I've been told. As you can see, we have arrived at Becky's Falls. Uh, it's quite a complicated waterfall, really, but uh, yeah, it's um, very pretty and continues all the way down the river there. We've just done the red trail and that which goes all the way down to the falls and back up again. What yeah. did you think of that? What did you think of Becky's Falls? It was alright. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting to be a bit more spectacular than yes. actual falls. Yes. But um very pretty. Maybe they could get rid of some of the boulders so you can actually see the falls a bit clearer. Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> They're like 20 tons each. Because you could only see little bits through yes. the boulders, yeah. But um, no, very pleasant. You know, the weather's lovely, isn't it? Mm. So it was a nice walk. Take your time. Definitely, you know, just follow the trail. Very easy. But it's mm. um, a bit rocky, trip hazards all the way. Luckily, it's not too busy, is it? Because you can imagine it'd be heaving in the summer. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, it's just, just very pleasant. I quite like that, uh, that log bridge. Did you notice that it was actually made out of a tree? The whole of the bottom part was uh, just a tree, yeah. Oh. I mean, for £8.50 per adult, yeah. um, it seems a lot, doesn't it? But, um, you know, just to wander through. But I suppose they've got to maintain all the bridges and make sure it's all safe. So I can understand why they've done it. Oh, plus you've got the petting zoo and you've got, yes, you can see cafe, meerkats and owls shop. and stuff. But it's not just that walk in the falls. It's a, it's a bit more of a, yes. a walk in a walk in a zoo, isn't it? Yes, you've got the pony yeah. sanctuary or whatever. Is there a pony? There's a pony something or other, and the blue trail. So we didn't do the blue trail, which is more for the children's nature, and the ponies. Oh, there was some oh. pigs somewhere along the lane, wasn't there? <laughs> I think we missed them. Not but seeing that, the pigs. That might be in the purple trail. So there's three trails, isn't there? Yeah. So we did the red trail, which was more up and down and round the falls, but it was quite precarious, wasn't it? At points, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's some steps as well. Steps on the as steep well. parts that give you some steps. <laughs> some bridges. Uh, yeah. But not trip hazards. Yeah, it's not it's not accessible by wheelchairs or push chairs. No, definitely mm. not. Oh, and it's easy coming here in a motorhome. So now we're going to head to Haytor. Hopefully, it's not too hilly. And how far away is that? It's about 20 minutes on the bikes. Okay, I can live with that one. All right, we've got to come back though. <laughs> we are very high up here in Dartmoor. Uh, I think that over there is Bovey Tracy. 
Um, it's a little sort of quarry just there, but then just there, that's the sea. And right behind us is Hay Tor. We made it. So climbing Hay Tor isn't as hard as you think it is. It has steps. Look, there's the steps just there, look. Still difficult, mind. Very good. How are you? <laughs> Who's done this before? We have arrived at the top of Haytor. <laughs> We've made it back. Um, the journey back on the bike wasn't so bad as going. It was mostly all down here, wasn't it? Well, it was a bit uneven, wasn't it? Yeah, the road the um, sat nav track road. took us down was uh, it wasn't even a goat track. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was missing parts and it Holy. was dirt and and yeah, it was, uh, it was annoying. <laughs> but uh so um we're very tired now a bit jaded uh what did you think of high tour hey tour yeah it was good wasn't mm. it i thought we would it would take us longer to get there and also to climb up yeah it was all right and it had the steps didn't the it which, steps. which made it a lot easier almost lost zoe <laughs> <laughs> so um okay so um that's going to be the end of this video uh, so if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already uh, Please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that bell so you can see when we release another video until next time Thank you very much for watching and goodbye